Shanira, hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good. And you? Well, here, you know, ready to start. So nice. tell me, could you, you, could you finally fix your camera? No, teacher, I can't. I can went to the shop for buy a, a new handset. For buying. For buying a new handset because I had a very busy weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. I worked a lot and then uh, um, I'm really, I don't have. I have enough time. What is the pass up here? What is the pass up? Have. No tuve. No tuve tiempo. Had. 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 A. I. I. H. A. D. Had. A. D. Yeah. I. I had time for for this, but when maybe tomorrow or the next weekend, I go to, I will go to buy a a new handset. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, because it's, uh, I mean, it feels different. <laughs> yeah, I know, teacher. I'm sorry, but my uh, my connection over cell phone is very unstable. Un unstable. Unstable. Yeah, because yesterday I hear you, but like a robot. And you know, I'm a robot. Just you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, teacher, but I did it. Uh, it, it was difficult to understand yesterday the class. Yeah, yeah, that happens to me sometimes with some of you that uh, sometimes when the signal is bad, uh, I start hearing hearing you like that. That's problematic, and the weather yeah, I, doesn't I, help. Of course, yeah. I move another side, maybe today the signal uh, is better. Let's hope so. We need it to be better. Yeah. But you know, I can't to solve my camera because if I turn on, the signal is is Degrader is, I don't know, would you say degradar? Degradates. Is degradate, yeah. And you tell me, what do you do in your weekend teacher? I can't hear you yesterday. I couldn't hear you. Oh yeah, I, I couldn't hear you yesterday. Well, let's see my weekend. Man, I was working a lot. Teacher, you work a lot. Well, to, like to me. Yeah, you telling me that? About? You telling me that I work a lot? Come on, Janira, you are the same as me. Yeah, this day is really crazy for me. I work a lot. The last, maybe the last week. Uh, me too. Well, actually, for me, this week is being like, oh, man, terrible. Today I started, I went out uh, 5.30 a.m. in the morning. I been doing many stuff all day long. I just arrived home, had a shower. Then this class, when I finish this class, I'm going, I need to leave the machine working, uploading the, the, the files, and I need to go out. And perhaps I will be arriving back home around midnight. Wow. And tomorrow I got to leave at 6. So it's going to be like terrible. It's so far, yeah. The last week, uh, maybe. I slept um, two or three hours by day. Per day, per day. Per day, per day. 
Yeah, that's hard. I mean, my problem is not uh, it's not no sleeping. It's not the lack of sleeping. My problem is waking up. <laughs> well, in my yeah, case, I, I mean, once once I open my eyes, no problem. I mean, I can continue all day long, even at night, no problem. But waking up, man, that's terrible. <laughs> Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, by me it's difficult go to sleep because I I think in the problem and I can uh, I can um, to rest. I can go to rest. No, you know what? My problem is if I is if I am awake between one or two in a.m. That's a big problem for me. If 1 a.m. comes or 2 a.m. comes and I'm still awake, I don't sleep no more. Really? Yeah. That's a big problem. I get insomnia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you know, that happens. With age, that happens. Yeah, yeah. For los años pasados, so you sleep less. When I have really, when I say really, really um, tired and I go to sleep, I sleep like a rock. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, nothing could disturb up. you. Yeah, nothing. Um, uh, earthquake, uh, uh, rain. Uh, no, no matter nothing, no nothing. matter what no matter what you stay up yeah nothing nothing <laughs> my mom said you sleep like a rock yeah you know that happens to me once in a while but it's hard it's actually hard because supposedly we need to sleep we need to sleep more Yes, it's important to sleep. Maybe not a hour, but sleep. Yeah, not eight hours, but you need to sleep. I mean, yeah, it's very important. Well, Janita, nice talking to you. I will come back to you soon because we are going to work. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do okay. an exercise. Okay. Let me greet some other people. Let's see, Susanna. Hello, Susanna. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Susana. We were missing you yesterday. Come on, what happened to you? <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. Um, I work. <laughs> I work it. You were working yesterday? Yes. And, uh, also, uh, I, I have uh, a meeting with my uh, new boss. Oh, really? You got a new boss. Oh, how did it go? Everything okay? Yes. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay, that's, that's interesting. And what about today? How was today for you? Um, continue work. <laughs> was a good day, a heavy day, a difficult one. Tell me. Yeah, and no, it's a it's a finish the month. Um, it's a it's before um I I have uh, I present I present a report uh report contable report. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a balance balance sheet and uh, P and L. Uh, the, the, the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Quite interesting, actually. Yes, it's, well, a, a, it's in my, in, come on, the company work uh, is a multinational. Yeah, it's multinational. Multinational, yes. It's a report, it's a, a United States, it's a holding. Oh, 
Very interesting. Consolidate uh, consoli uh, report mm -hmm. information, financial information. Mm -hmm. Financial information. Well, that's quite interesting, Susana. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Fernando, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm here. I'm still working. Oh, still work? Oh, yeah, the end of the month. You told me last week that this week was going to be crazy for you. Yeah, I am on the wild moment of the closing month. But That's the I, hardest I, part, right? Yes. But I, I'm here. I will, I will be here. And I will be okay. participating as much as possible. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Today is going to be quite interesting. Actually, we are going to talk a little bit about yesterday's. Do you remember the procedures? And you're going to tell oh, yes. me about one procedure. Then we are going to have a, a short conversation, the conversation that appears on the manual, the practice of the conversation. And then we are going to solve uh, just two exercises from the book. So today is going to be quite interesting. We're going to be quite busy. But it will give you time to, to, to focus on both, both things. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, teacher, I, will, I don't worry. I, perfect. Thank you very much, Fernando, and welcome. Okay, uh, teacher, by the way, yesterday yes. I posted my, my, my procedure in the, in the platform. Really? Yes. Uh, let, me, let me check. The problem was that I was telling Janira that I had a problem today that I had to go out and I left my house at 5 a.m. and I've been just running some errands. So I haven't sit on the computer until like 20 minutes ago. So today my day was, my day was very, very interesting. Very, very. Like my date, <laughs> very, very busy. Yeah, and I told her, I was explaining her that today, as soon as I finish class, I need still to go out and I'll be back around midnight. Well, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I got, actually I got, let's see, five people have answered to my post. It's correct. Carlos is the first one. Fernando, I got Carlos, yes. I got Fernando, I got Marta. Uh -huh. Yes, and I got Marcela. And those are the only ones. Hmm. Quite interesting, guys. Come on, what about the rest of you? Do you remember, guys? Even better, let me show you okay because i got it right here look guys from the platform this was my post explain one procedure you perform in your company for sentences i got carlos i got fernando i got martha and i got marcela margarita fuentes and the rest of you I'm still waiting. Please don't her, do it. I post my answer, but I don't know what happened because I, I use the um, um, app for um, getting to the um, platform. But uh, maybe I have to do in the computer. Try it again, please. So I okay. can check it out. So I can um, check it out. You're welcome. Well, sure. Yes, yeah, Susana. I, I tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you can do it later. Don't worry. The thing is, what I want is to eat, for it to be done so I can check out your, your writing, okay? No problem, okay. no problem. Okay, let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Nestor, how are you? I'm very good with you. I'm just great, just great, you know, here, busy all the time as usual, but here. So tell me, how was your day? My day is, was good because 
uh, I deliver my work. Okay, that's cool. When you can finish all the activities program for the day, right? Yeah. It's it feels satisfying. You can rest peacefully. Yes, for this day, yes. Tomorrow it will be another day. Yeah, you know, another day, another dollar. Yeah, for tomorrow I will have another process. Yeah, that's normal, that's normal. But the good thing is that you're here ready for the class. Welcome, Nestor. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, today I'm going to be very short with the greeting because we need to do some other exercises. Let's see. Okay, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm... I'm so so. Come on, why so so? Mm -hmm. In the morning, the student had exams, but at noon, I, I feel bad. Really? Yes, I mm -hmm. I have felt busy. Oh, really? Yes, it's really. Interesting, interesting. And how do you feel right now? Um, a little dizzy. A little dizzy? Mm, that's interesting. Don't drink, don't drink. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, teacher, I don't know what it is. Because I, I ate well. And I, in the afternoon, I, I rest. Yeah, but if, if the symptoms continue, you know, you got to go to the doctor. Yes, teacher. You got to go look for a physician so you can get checked out. Yes, yes, teacher. Well, Claudia, relax. Today class is going to be easy, easy, cheesy. Okay, teacher. Teacher, Thank I you. did my homework, but mm -hmm. I don't know. No sé por qué no aparece. Did you hit submit? You answer, then you got the preview, and then you hit submit. Because those are the ones that I got right now. Those, I, I, I saw five. the problem, teacher. <laughs> uh, you didn't no. submit. No, 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 no. Uh, you uh, put the answer. No, the question that, what do you do, right? And yeah. I, my answer are um, outside the, the question. It's oh. like another topic. Uh -huh. that, that oh. was and Claudia, you... and I don't know who was uh, Claudia and Nestor, I think is, is are, the, um, are out of your question. But oh, that's right. <laughs> that Those... was the problem. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah, I can see. I can see. I got Claudia, Claudia Ramos. Let's see. I got Jensis. Yes, oh. they didn't make it on mine. They did it. They did, did mm -hmm. their own. Yeah, you're right. What's the problem? But I put your, my answer in your question. Yeah, no problem. I'll check it out. I'll check okay. it out. Don't worry. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Oh, thanks to yeah. you. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, Maria Alejandra, where's my homework? Hi, teacher. Sorry. Today I had a, a really bad day and oh. I finished my schedule maybe. Eight o'clock, <laughs> and I have a little problem with the platform. And oh, but, that must be Janita's fault. Don't worry. <laughs> but in the night, when I finish the class, I, at night, at night, I read, I write the homework in the platform. <laughs> okay, perfect. Perfect, okay. perfect. She's not, she's not Rosanna, teacher. Oh, okay. she, she didn't, uh, how do you say, culparme? Blame. Guilty? 
Blame. Blame. Playing me. Janira didn't play. Play me. <laughs> Hi, Roxana. Okay. Thank you, Maria Alejandra. Hello, Roxana. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, um, well, here, you know, same old story. Tell me, how was your day? Easy day? My day, yeah, because I had um, this today, I, I was uh, doing a lot of uh, tests, press. Test, yeah. Test about my closing, previous to my closing. And tomorrow it's the time for me. The so hard, tomorrow is, tomorrow is going to be hard for you. Mm, yeah. Today it was very hard, but uh, since tomorrow until Saturday, I guess, maybe. I try to finish my closing on Saturday, maybe next Monday, because I need to uh, check a lot of uh, things. Info. info. Yeah, a lot of info. So if Janira works all day, mm -hmm. maybe it will be easy, but uh, she didn't work okay. today. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, tomorrow I have free day. I'm sorry, Roxanne. Oh, she's got a she's day connect. off. Yeah, always, always. Yeah, she... Whenever you need, you, whenever yeah. you need her help, she just disconnects. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. I can imagine. Well, Roxanne, so thank, you. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. Ambar, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So, Ambar, was today your first day or tomorrow? Uh, sorry, my mistake is Thursday, my first day. Thursday. Oh, okay. Thursday. Sorry. So, you still got one more day off? Exactly. Tomorrow is my last day. Okay, tomorrow, sleep. Yes. Because Thursday is going to be quite interesting for you. Exactly. Um, hmm. So what did you do today besides staying in bed? Do you stay in bed? Mm, I I watch a series, series? How do you yeah, say series? Series of Netflix. Um, I wash my clothes. Only that. Okay, remember when you say I wash my clothes, you can say I deal the laundry. Remember, I, deal. I deal. I deal. I the did laundry. the laundry. Um okay, I did the laundry. Yeah, because you do the laundry, you do the dishes, okay? Okay. So in past, I did the laundry. So you did your laundry today. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Yes. Uh, it it distressed me to see the big quantity of clothes lying around. For me, yeah. it's stressful. Yeah, whenever I see I see uh, the basket full, I get to wash. I get to do the laundry because it pisses me off. I try to laundry. Oh, I try to do laundry my clothes every day. Oh, that's even better. Yes, I prefer, uh, como sería prefiero eso que se acumule. I prefer, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we don't want it to, to pile up. Pile up. No queremos que se. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Pile, pile. Pile up. I pile up. We don't want it to pile up. No queremos que se acumule. We don't want it to pile up. We don't want it to pile pile up. Pile yeah. up. Interesting. Yes. Thank you very much. I'm boring. Thank Welcome you. to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. I could swear I saw Carlos around. Hello, Carlos. Hello. 
Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm just great, just great. Here's some old story. Tell me, how was your day? Today, I have a busy day. Uh, but I, we're having a end of May, month. Yeah. Uh, and we have to prepare uh, a lot of uh, information to close the accountant in the company. Uh, but uh, it's very nice teacher. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, it's good when you say we had a lot of work, but it's very nice. That's cool. Yeah. I like that attitude. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. I mean, yeah, because sometimes yeah. we feel like, oh man, it was horrible. Yeah. But sometimes yes, we make a lot of work, but we feel satisfied. That's cool. Yes, teacher. Uh, Thank you. Yes, tell me, tell me. No. Uh, sometimes I am really so tired, uh, but actually uh, that is a new experience and I, I have an attitude to, to learn and to make a, a inform at the end of the, the process, teacher. Okay, hold on. Let me see, Carlos. You are wearing a sweater? Yes, teacher. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Tell me, what's the weather like? What's okay. the weather like? Uh, actually, it's raining and the weather is uh, very cold uh, because uh, every since uh, 1 p.m., the rain is, is not as perfect. It started as uh, not. Has not, has not stopped. Okay, has not stopped. Um, I, I, uh, a few, a few minutes. I take a shower and I. I took. <laughs> yes, I so took. I took. I took a shower and I, I dress it. Um, sweater. Yeah, you got a sweater. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So it must be what like. 20 degrees or less? What less, teacher. Less uh, than 20. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, Gee, man. Do you got the data there? Do you have the information? Yes. How many degrees? Yes, teacher. Uh, 19 degrees. Um, 19 degrees? Yes. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, I got uh, according to this, it's twenty three. But in my room right now, it's like, man, <laughs> cool, interesting. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, Enjoy teacher. it. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I still got time. Oh, before I move on, I need to get the attendance. So let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. Let me see. Let me see, just let me get ready for getting the attendance. And Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. I'm here, I'm here. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Thank you, María Luisa. María Luisa, you stay tonight with me after the class. Don't forget. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cordejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Uh, Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Okie dokie. Let's see. Well, let's continue. Procedures. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Marta, tell me one procedure you follow in your company, please. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my procedure is about the create uh, purchases. Okay, purchase. In, yes. In the first step is the create a requisition. And okay. uh, second step is the create what? To create what? What? Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, then um, select uh, which word pro, uh, is about the better and um, fill with the vendor, uh, quantity, price is about the met method payment uh, to the day. All information is free. Uh, okay. uh, yes. Then the, the requisition is sent for approvals. If approval is okay, uh, so the, the print PO, uh, butcher order, um, uh, sent for email to vendor. Okay, perfect, thank you. Thank you, Don't forget to send it to me. Okay. Um, I I fill in the it. platform. You did it. Let me check. Yes. Let me check. I'm checking. I'm checking. Yes, teacher. Of course. <laughs> to be honest, I'm checking right now. It's just yeah. that I got so many things in different classes that sometimes I get confused. Let's see. Oh, I got three new ones. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Martha. Yeah, it's true. You of first course, create teacher. a requisition, <laughs> two quotes, select one quote. Perfect. Thank you very much. I got Thank Nestor. You, I got Ambar. Okay. Oh, very well done, Amber. Just that in your case, Amber, remember, instead of using all the time then, remember, then, after, finally, we're going to work with that today. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay teacher. Excellent. Let's see. Walter. Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. Oh, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Walter. Welcome oh, to the God, class. Oh, my God, teacher. And the right in the country. And yeah, it's raining country. a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. raining a lot. Well, not in my house, man. No, here, here it's not raining. Oh. I no. feel like if I live in the desert. Yeah. Tell oh. me, Walter. I got a, I got a question for you from yesterday's activity. Tell me, uh, one procedure you do in your company. Oh. Oh, what is position? And my position is. As is um, the department decides. Okay. Uh, and in my case, teacher, uh, I love in my work. Uh, me encanta lo que hago. How do you say? 
I enjoy what I do. Okay, let me let me text it for you. Okay. I enjoy. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy what I do. Okay. Well, yes. Interesting. Yes. yes, teacher. And and every day, in the morning, and always is the uh, review uh, review it in chat email and and I can say it's interesting uh, my work is okay. uh, me mantiene entretenido cuando vengo a ver uh, at noon <laughs> it's noon already okay you say no, it no. like this look it keeps me it keeps me busy me mantiene ocupado it, uh, it keeps it, me it keeps me busy yes exactly really it bad. keeps me busy and and tie a, a, a lunch is a, a i feel time pass it pass it fast Okay, well, thank you very much, Walter. Interesting. You're welcome, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Hey, let's see. I got, uh, before I forget, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, guys. Silvia Elizabeth Amedaño Pineda, say present, please. Present, teacher. Thank you, Silvia. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Nestor, please tell me one procedure from your company, one procedure that you follow, that you perform while doing your activities. Uh, okay, teacher, is, uh, uh, the import, import of products. Okay. Uh, the first, um, the product shipping instruction are given to the shipping company. Uh, then, okay. then elaboration of entry documents, schedule and revision of invoices and BL. Next, processes are main customs for or iPhone, depending on the way it comes. And okay. finally, we proceed to enter a bonded warehouse and then pay the taxes to make use of the product. That's all. Okay, perfect. Interesting, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Roxana, wake up. Hello, tell me. Hi. Tell me one of your tell me one of your activities and the procedure that you follow to to perform that activity please uh, for example now i need to prepare the closing and calculate the commissions so okay. previously to my closing i need to check some reports and uh, review some uh, percent so uh, goals metas yeah, Meta goals. de venta sería goal sales. No, sales no. goals. Sales goals and um, calculate a um, commission to um, external agent and internal agent and okay. prepare the maybe like um, payroll similar, okay. but it's not the payroll because uh, it's just. Uh, about commissions, not salary. Oh, so okay. uh, I need to prepare the the data and send to the payment department to discard in the platform. Okay, perfect. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Very orderly. I like that. Thank you. Let's see. Um, 
Jose, hello, Jose. Jose, que estás loco. Jose, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, I'm very well. Okay, Jose, can you tell me one procedure you do in your company? Uh, okay, this is about the, a, a cells needs to be converted. Uh, a procedure is when I receive personal for retraining to so, so win operation. And sewing, my body, sewing. Sewing, uh -huh. perceive personal for retraining or sewing operation. Uh, my boss coordinates with the supervisor of the area to be converted in the coverage of that job is, is plain. And then I receive the people and assign uh, them a, a machine and generate a performance file. And I, as uh, how do you say teacher uh, uh, como le digo como registrar el, el avance diario o el desempeño diario okay that's to hmm. that would be to log in o oh, oh. the daily Advance. Daily, okay. I record the, um, the daily advance and graphs uh, the result. And then I generate projections, projection and improve their methods. <laughs> then I generate a report every Friday and it repeats the next week. Okay. You can say it progress progress i'm sorry progress hold on hold on hold on progress I it. progress like this progress advance progress in your case that will be progress okay thank you very much yes. Jose. quite interesting thank you okay let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see who else uh, hmm. sylvia tell me one procedure you perform and well one activity you're performing the procedure you follow in order to do that activity please hello teacher hello uh in our company, we receive customers. So um, we are like applying all the safety measures. So the procedures that we follow with every client that we receive is um, the, the shoe cleaning, the entrance of the the, the customer have to clean their shoes. There's like a carpet with disinfecting um, disinfecting material. Then they have to go to the reception and we take the temperature and we apply alcohol uh, in the hands or they have to wash the hands in there's like, like a skin so people easily can go and wash their hands in case they want to do it um, and always we ask to to wear the face mask and common areas. That's the procedures when we receive a customer. Perfect, thank you. Very specific, excellent. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Marcella, please tell us one procedure you're following your company, your daily activities. We had to assist a company and we consolidated the information that client sent us. And we had to review the information and make paperwork to, uh, to see the difference in the database and accountant. And we make a terence letter with two terence to the claim to resolve the inconsistency. And we have like two visas to the claim in the year. So finally, we had to, to make the info okay. of audio okay. of the year. Listen, to solve, to solve, solve, and finally. Final. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Shanira, your turn, tell me. Well, let me see. Uh, the use of platform. When someone have a problem, they need to put a ticket in platform. Then okay. another area assign the ticket for the specific area, for example, a database or infrastructure or programmers or analysts or another area in IT. Then when they assign the cases, the then technician receive an uh, email about this case and say, you have a new case, please help someone. Then for solve these cases, sometimes you need to tell or send an email or make a meeting for get more information about this problem. And you resolve this problem, you have a limit of time for resolve these cases. And so when you close the ticket, the user receives uh, another email that say your case was solved. And that's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Very concise. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see, I still got time for one more person let's see hey wilfredo tell me one procedure you perform hi teacher hello let me see in my in my company we, we have different procedures but the the most important it is to check about the the, the quality and, and efficiency because and the rest of the goal and uh, turn, turn around this goal. How do you say? Giran alrededor de esas metas, teacher? Well, actually, in this case, it's move around. Go around. Move, move around. Move, move around. Oh, yeah. oh okay, okay. And then, teacher, we have to we have to try to 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 get different 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 goals. But the, the principal procedure in my company, teacher, is is to to try to get the, the principal or primary goal as uh, efficiency, quality, safety. Because if we get this this goal, it is. Is, it is easy, the rest, because we have to, 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 we have to do less action play to, to explain any, any issue. But when these goals are accomplished, 
com accomplish. Yeah. It is, it is nice, but um, I, I guess that there, there are the principal goals, but to get it, we had to follow different procedure. For example, the good training about the people that Osorio talked about this, this procedure. When the people didn't didn't get the result, we had to check what happened. They why they they didn't didn't get the the time the the tiempos metas um, time time go. Well, that's due dates or target or target dates. Yeah, target yeah. dates. Target dates. Then we have to check many, many procedures. For example, we have to, to check the, the ergonomic station, the workstation, the ability. If we have to improve some motion, so they get, they, they get um, stamina. Do, do you remember this word? Stamina? Yeah. yeah. But um, to get to get that, we have to, to, to uh, I'm sorry, we, we have to, we need to enough, enough knowledge about this procedure because I, I can I can try to, to help to another people, but, I, but if I don't know what I have to, to, to mejorar, improve. Yep. But um, it is, the world is going to be the same result. Okay. Now, I got a phrase for you. Uh, actually, what you've been explaining to me is not that things uh, revolve or move around. Actually, they evolve around. Evolve around? Yeah. Um, okay. In this case, we can use this yes. word, teacher, when, when we talk. I'm, I'm sorry. When we talk about. Um, primary goal because yes. for example in, in, a, in a store the primary the primary goal maybe I guess it is the sales the sales yeah and all the activities yeah. evolve around evolution a partir de that's evolve around um, okay okay evolve around oh, okay yes exactly yeah. Excellent. Quite interesting. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, for the rest of you, don't forget to send me the activity. Right now, we are going to do the conversation. Let me share with you the little conversation. This is a short one, the one we are going to work with. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Look, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a cup. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, guys, let me, before we continue, let me send you the picture of the short conversation. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, just a second. Okay, this is it. Perfect. There you go, you got it. Listen again, please. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then, the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. 
Thank you, Mr. Moore. I will repeat one last time. Third, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, guys. We're gonna do the activity. You're going to have three minutes to practice. Remember to switch roles, okay? Groups are created. Please jump in. Excuse me, teacher. Este, me quedé fuera. Se me fue el internet. No problem. Yes, oh, okay. no problem. I'll okay. send you to a group. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Let's see, hold on. Okay, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. No sé, no puedo entrar. The card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the, re the receipt and you keep receipt. 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 Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay. Switch okay. the word. Here, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you get the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sign the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Mo. Okay, switch. Sir. Okay. Hi, teacher. I cannot hear you. Hello, what you doing alone? Uh -huh. Silvia is lost the connection. Okay, let me see, let me see. This is group number three. Okay, we will I wait, wait for I'm her. I'm waiting for, yes, I'm waiting for her. Perfect, perhaps she connects again. If not, don't worry, we are almost done. One minute more to go. Okay, thank you, teacher. After that, pay the payment and put in the register you select the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give 
by the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you kick a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. You're welcome. Welcome to the class. <laughs> Teacher. Ahora comienza de nuevo. Keep on practicing, 60 seconds. Sir, I forgot how to the process of payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, tip and you give to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Claudia Ramos and Marcela Margarita, please. Claudia, you start. Okay, so I forgot how to process a, a payment. All right, first you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, Take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Receipt. Moore. Receipt. 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 Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Fernando Thank and you. Janita. Janita, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you get the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you just lay the card from the card reader. Then, the register prints the receipt and you give and you give give you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Wong. Thanks, both of you. Perfect. Marta and Sylvia, please. Marta, you'll start. Okay. Sir. I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the reg register. Or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Perfect, both of you. Before we continue, let me get the attendance one more time, please. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Bar 
Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Cá. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granado. Present. Roxana Ibet Asensio. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño. Present, teacher. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Arau. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Sanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Udanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Ok, now please, Carlos and María Luisa. Let's see. Ok. And let's see who's going to start. Maria Luisa, you start. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process the payment. All right. Please, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Very well done, both of you, thank you. Susana and Wilfredo. Susana, you'll start. Okay. Sure, I got home who to process and payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After, after that, pay the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give, up, give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Pretty well, excellent. Well done, both of you. And you. now, Amber and Gen Z. Gen Z, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Okay, give me one second, please. All right, first you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sing, signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Amber. Yeah, that's right, signs. Excellent. Okay. Now let's see. Ooh. Roxana and William. William, you start. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register on your side, on your, or your slide 
The car throw car the credit perdón. Comienza de nuevo. All right. First, you give the option to pay in a cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it you give it back to, to the customers. Finally, the customer sings the receipt and you keep it a copy. Thanks you, Mr. Moore. Okay, let's see, let's see, Roxana. Register. 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 Through. 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 No, not through. Uh, look, your tongue comes out. Through. 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 Like, it, yes, like that. If, if it's like it were a Z. Okay. Through. Through. Okay. Like that. Perfect. Through. And mm, receipt. 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 Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo and Jose Osorio. Jose Osorio, you'll start. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Perfect, thank you very much, both of you. Now, let's see, Maria Alejandra and Nestor. Maria Alejandra, you'll start. Okay, sir, I forgot how, how to process a payment. All right, first, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then, the register prints the receipt and you give back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs and receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now let's see, Walter. Walter and let's see, who else is missing? Walter and Marta. Marta, you start. Help me out, please. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. Did you give him the option? The pay in the cash or credit card. After that, you take the payment <clears throat> and put in the register or you slip the card and from the card reading. Then register, print the receipt and you give it back to the customer finally. To the customer seeing the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, perfect. Just remember, Walter. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Register, register. Register. Slide, slide the car through. Slide the car through. Okay. Thank you. And let me see. Signs the receipt. Signs the receipt. Sign the receipt. Signs the receipt. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay.
Okay, guys, now we are going to do a slightly different exercise, okay? What are we going to do? Let me explain to you. I will show it to you actually, so you can check out what the activity is about. If you get your manual, please, we are going to be working in page number 19. In page 19, if you have your manual handy, uh, look for page 19, exercise four, okay? If you don't, don't worry, I'm going to share it with you and I'm going also to take a picture so you can have it, okay? The exercise says like this, okay? Do you ever meet difficult customers? Choose one of the situations below and list and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Then present your process to the class. Okay, what we are going to do is the following. I'm going to form five groups and I'm going to number each group and I'm going to assign the activities according to the order. Group number one is going to deal with the, Excel, with the situation number one. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Group number two is going to solve. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Number three, a customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. Number four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Number five, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay, that means that I am going to create five groups. The groups are going to be, let me see, four participants per group, exactly, okay? Four participants per group. Remember, please, the instructions, okay? Remember, please, the instructions. What are you going to do? Okay. You're going to describe me five steps, four or five, up to you. You can do four or five, four minimum, five max. Steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customers. Imagine that I am the customer and I tell, hey, Roxana, you know what? Uh, my Go away, took, please. My food took too long. Okay, I am mad. I am a good customer. I always come here, but today you told me 20 minutes and it, I spent one hour waiting for the for the food. What are you going to do with that customer? Mm, Four steps. Nice. Procedure. Yes, that's exactly what you're going to explain to me, a procedure. Which procedure would you follow to deal with that person, okay? but you're going to do it in groups. So let's see, like in your case, let's see, Roxana, you are group number two. So for you is the second situation. Your situation is a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees, okay? Group number one is Ambar Alfaro, Jose Osorio, Maria Alejandra, and Wilfredo. I repeat, group number one, Ambar, Jose Osorio, Maria Alejandra, and Wilfredo. So you deal with situation number one. A customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Group number two, Fernando Gonzalez, Roxana Ivette, William Rosales, and Jency Elizabeth Miranda. Your situation is a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Group number three, Carlos Murillo, Marcela Margarita, Nestor Omar, and Silvia Avendaño. Your situation, guys, a customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. Group number four, Maria Luisa Morales, Nicolas Mendez, Susana Ortiz, and Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Your activity, your situation, 
a customer is calling upset, angry, because he received the wrong delivery order. And group number five, Claudia Ramos, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa, Marta Morales, and Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Your activity, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay, guys, you are going to create a procedure of four or five steps to deal with that situation. Is it, are the instructions clear? Yes? Yes. Perfect, guys. Jump into the groups, please. You're going to have 10 minutes. Hi, teacher. Hello, mister. What happened? You couldn't get into the group? I, I lost my connection and-, and You I, are group number two, right? Uh, right. There you go. Okay, I'm going to give them one minute to get ready. And then I'm going to be jumping from group to group, checking out their development. A verbal apology is generated by the manager of the establishment. Maybe. Okay. We can, uh, we can offer a. Uh, no, I'm not. How do you say regalia or. Give a present. Uh -huh. uh, or offer an uh, extra. Or a, maybe. An extra, or a discount. An order. An extra okay. order or we offer can offer a, a discount for a discount. I, I guess that that it, it could be discount uh, uh, of yeah. money. Yeah. Offer a discount. Or what do you say otorgar? Oh uh, we can offer a, a for example the pizza hat the um, for me, it can be first staying calm. Um, you have to, second, you have to listen to parts, uh, customer and the, um, and the employee. And third, you, you have to try the, to dial, Dialogue, no sé cómo se dice diálogo. How do you say that? Dialogue. 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 Dialogue with the two parts. 
Um, another can be um, try to apologize. Siempre tiene la razón. But uh, I think I, we have to. How do you say negotiate, teacher? Deal. Deal. Okay. Uh, we have deal with the customer to to answer with what is what is the problem, uh, and I think uh, the, if it's true, uh, the customers be the driver. And imagine to receive a uh, aspirin. Uh, Roll. Instead of, I don't know, ibuprofen. Then the first that I want to receive is a uh, apology. The second uh, option, if I have, if I want repairs or change of my birth. Okay. For example, I I I, I write. Uh, I I was I was write this example. For example, hello, sorry, Miss. My order is incorrect. I asked pizza. They brought me, they brought me hamburger. I need my money or, um, or uh, no, I need my money only. Is, is correct the example? Well, I... No, no. I know how. Uh, no, 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 Usually in the restaurant, uh, yeah. maybe it's most most frequently in a bank, in a, um, a teacher. How do you say? Eh, como bueno, un, un ejemplo, digamos un negocio así como como si man, cómo se diría, digamos general. What you mean? Siman is a department store. Department store, okay. Uh, the, the situation is more frequent in a department store or a bank that uh, is instead uh, a restaurant. <laughs> okay, but if it happened, what would you do? It's not. It's not just to 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 please the customer. Like first, you apologize to the customer. Then, yes. uh, then what about check out if the cashier is performing okay? Yes. Uh, if uh, is a if a situation uh, that happen in a bank. Uh, I think the procedure may be um, uh, getting apologies. Uh, uh, teacher, how do you say ofrecer, por ejemplo, una taza de, pero el verbo ofrecer. Offer. 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 Offer, offer a cup of coffee or a, or a... Well, well, if it's in a bank, you know, they got another option. They could like, they, usually have somebody extra that could open another another box another cashier mm, yes uh, mm, 
no, no sé cómo decirlo, Tiche, pero <ríe> por ejemplo, a veces los bancos, aunque estén todos los cajeros trabajando, están a tope. <ríe> yeah. yeah. Some days like yesterday, yeah. today, tomorrow. Yes. <ríe> Tiche, uh, in... excuse me, and and for example, imagine in if it were my restaurant, uh, a situation number five, although the customer are ready using because the case is too slow. In my case, I didn't. And, and employees, no excuse, polite. And, and we had a problem at the system. And we had a problem at the system. Um, but with we um, repair it and we will charge your order and we will give you a discount on your payment. Is correct? Yeah, it could be an option. It could be an option. Oh, okay. Imagination in my mind. <laughs> in my mind. In um, Offer, offer an, a discount in the next purchase and increase or, or large the size order. Okay, and the four, the four of, offer an extra dessert. But I don't know. An extra dessert? No, I don't know. Yeah, we maybe. can offer an, an, an extra. And the last one. Hey, is you have only one option? You accept or no? Take <laughs> <laughs> or not? Hey, you, Maria. You say it like you, this, Maria. You say it like you, this. You could, Maria, you could be a an 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 a good seller, seller <laughs> woman. <laughs> It could be offered. Lo quiere o no lo quiere. A price or leave it. Take it or leave it. That's how you say lo quiere o no lo quiere. Lo toma o lo deja. Take it or leave it. Or leave it. Take it. You propose and the customer take it, take it or leave it. Así sería. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Wow. Yeah. I, won't visit, I won't visit your business. I won't visit your business. No, it's a joke. <laughs> I imagine that was Amber's idea. Do, do you imagine, Amber teacher? Was like, no way. Teacher, do, yes. do, you, do you imagine you are trying to some shoes and Maria Alejandra told you, take it or leave it? <laughs> what answer um, well you know the problem is that the kind of customer I am I am not the kind of customer that is going to complain I'm not going to complain to you it's just that uh, let's see your situation is number one right um, the first one yeah. yeah so your situation is that the food is was not delivered on time. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to wait all the time that is necessary. I'm going to eat. I'm going to pay. I'm going to tip. And I'm not going to go back. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, we That's can take do. a survey. Uh, yeah. How do you say, ¿cómo sería tomar una encuesta para tener yeah, recomendaciones y mejorar el servicio? Yeah, that's a survey. But survey. Sure. In the case, in the I, case of the customer, I mean, I can't, I couldn't be the the customer who gets angry and complains, because I'm not that type of person. I just simply, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to be angry. The only thing I'm going to do is not coming back ever. I mean, uh, like uh, one month ago, I went to a Mexican restaurant and they gave me a. They gave me a dish that the taste was horrible. I mean, I just left it, paid, and I'm not going back 
never. Very bad, so, sausage. Yeah, I mean, I didn't like the taste of what they prepared for me. And believe me, uh, it was like um, one month or two months ago. Up to this date, I cannot even think about that dish. I mean, really? Yeah, and I don't even like passing by that restaurant. Teacher, uh, yes. I, I guess uh, five years ago, I remember I I called to the for for order pollo campero, and and um, the people that giving give gave me gave me the order. Uh, the, the, he went three times to my house. The first one, they, they uh, he only gave me the fries and how do you say, papita? Yeah, the fries. The fries. fries. And when I I saw the the box, I, but I I I very I was very. Nah, angry. Uh, five, you minutes, see my, five minutes. You after, should see my sister. He went back. <laughs> no, I, I, I remember that the, the, the guy touched my, my door and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and give me another box, but only bread. But oh that, that three times, she very, very chime told me, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he told me that the order is going to be free. Ah, no, don't worry. I was hungry. Hungry. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I know, but... I know. No, you know who's who's very, I mean, who complains a lot is my sister. My sister complains. He's very, very demanding. She's she's very demanding. Yes, I mean, I love my sister, but I will never serve my sister. I mean, yo nunca la tendría. She's pretty demanding. Go another in place, that, you told her. Yeah, yeah, in that situation, I mean, we are totally opposites. She's pretty demanding, and I am like... Mm. I don't like arguing. I don't like discussing. It's not for me. Well, guys, it's time. Let's go back. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Quería que tocara. Okay, let's see. Group number one is Ambar, Jose, Maria Alejandra, and Wilfredo. Guys, who's going to tell me? The situation you got is a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, please. Who is going to tell me which steps are you going to follow? Talk to me, guys. Okay, teacher. We talked about the possible possible answer to the to the situation. The first one, we we talked about it was offer uh, give give an, an apology to the customer. The first one. And the second one, we tried, we tried to explain, explain him why the food it wasn't on time in in the house. And another another could be offering a discount in the next purchase and increase the order or large 
the site where are they 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 have to pay more and another could be offer an, an an extra um, dessert okay apologize and offering an extra dessert yeah that's cool i like that it's acceptable for me thank you very much now group number Welcome two i got roxana william and jency okay Roxana, give me one of the steps. Your situation is a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Eh, Just give me fair. one. Mm. Es que son yeah, but I want all the members of your groups to participate. Okay. Okay. The first one is keep calm. Why? Why do you need to keep calm? Explain to me. Uh, because uh, the um, question or the case um, me menciona mentions mentions that uh, the, the customer is aggressive. So the first uh, step is try to keep a call in the restaurant because there is another customers near here. So uh, we try to um, stay uh, quiet or try to talk with uh, the weather, for example. And I don't know, maybe if the customer is aggressive, try to explain that it's uh, important to don't use a uh, her language vocabulary. Fuertes. vocabulary vocabulary and something like that try to keep calm and don't say a bad vocabulary yeah okay cool excellent jency can you add something more to what Roxana um, said Yes, uh, the second step can be uh, listen to two parts, uh, the, uh, the customer and the employee for know what is the problematic situation. To know, to know. To know, to know, to know what is the problematic situation and, and know what, uh, and know the two positions Okay, both positions. Both, both positions. Ah, sorry. <laughs> both positions. Okay, perfect. And William, what can you add to this? Don't pay the bill, teacher. The restaurant pays. Okay. Not to pay the bill and the restaurant. Well, it's complex when you got somebody who's aggressive to the to the employees because I mean, yes, of course, you try to keep your clients happy, but also you have to protect your employees. And I mean to get that equilibrium is something very difficult. Okay, let's see. Thank you, guys. Teacher. Yes, William. My customer happy. We give you an order to the main course. Yeah, but you know, some people they just simply have a bad attitude, and that happens. Sometimes people just have a bad attitude, and that's yeah. something that that you need to to learn how to deal with, and that happens in in every activity not just in restaurants i mean if you work in sales if you work in uh, in i don't know attending people helping people and any area that you work with sometimes you have to deal with people who's problematic 
And you gotta learn how to deal with that type of person. Let's see, group number three, Carlos, Marcela, Nestor, and Silvia. Let's see, number three, your situation was, a customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. Okay. Carlos, tell me one step, one part of the procedure. Okay. One, only one part, teacher. Yes, just one because the rest of the group is going to participate also. Okay, teacher. Uh, first, uh, we go to the customer uh, and hit the problem and try to be empathic for, uh, for example, says, I completely understand your situation, for example. Okay, nice. So you're talking about using, okay, let's see, let's see. Let me see if I remember correctly how to write that word because it's one word that uh, I know, but I don't usually use. Okay, hold on, I got it. The word that I'm looking for is this one. Suiting, suiting, yes, suiting vocabulary, vocabulario calmante, suiting vocabulary. Okay. Oh, it's excellent. like uh, being empathic. Yeah, yeah. When you are being empathic, you look for vocabulary that will make the, the person like calm down. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Marcela, your turn. Tell me. Um, the second step, uh, we, we can take the dish and check uh, to see if it's a core problem, if exit the toothpick, and depends the, the dish can have or not a toothpick. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, Nestor. Please continue. Okay, um, and the next pass, it will be the offer the same or another dish uh, completely free of charge. Oh, excellent phrase. Completely free of charge. We don't say, we don't just say free. We say free of charge. That's the correct expression. Cuando vamos a decir que le vamos a dar algo gratis, we say free of charge. Okay? okay. Now, Silvia. Uh, finally, I would offer something extra like a discount in the next visit of the client. Well, that's a good, I mean, that could help the person. Yes, thank you. Nice, nice. Now, number four, Maria Luisa, Nicolás, Susana, and Shanira. Your situation was, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Okay, let's see. Maria Luisa, tell me one of the steps, one part of the procedure. What would you do? Okay, the first apology for the confusion with customer as the as the customer if he wants or shares or return of money. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Maria. Just one. Nicolas, next. Okay, I step one is recite the call I, I am the call yeah I, I am the call center the step one is recite the call uh, step two reading reading to the customer uh, number three listen the customer uh, your situation number four offer options 
that satisfy the customer. Uh, okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Leave me a little bit for the rest of your classmates. Déjeme un poquito a sus compañeros. Janira, please continue. Okay. In both cases, tell the customer that he has a discount. We'll be giving uh, in another or next purchase. And finally, uh, fill the report about the problem in platform. Okay, perfect. Susana, do you have something to add? Or that's it? Uh, after review the products uh, and and hand it well, they ask they ask the customer, but uh, the other other products or or return the the cash. Oh, return the money, the money. So it depends the 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 customer. I like the customer. It depends on if you like the customer. Oh my, that's interesting. Thank you very much. Now, the last question, Claudia Francisco. No, that's not true. That's not true. Actually, uh, according to, to some to some studies, that attitude uh, is changing. That attitude is changing. The client is not always right. Because if you are doing everything correct, I mean, you are, you are not going to hurt your business just because of the client. Que tampoco va a dañar su, su negocio solo por el cliente. I mean, you got to get a, 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 an equilibrium. It's quite interesting, that topic, and very complex. But let's continue. We got Claudia, Francisco, Marta, and Walter. Let's see. Your was a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay, that's interesting. The cashier is too slow. Claudia, what do you do? I think that it's important to enable another form of customer service. Uh, for example, if the customer service wants to make a, a payment uh, and need the money, um, um, another form, um, ability a cash payment, or a digital payment. Perfect, perfect. Oh. Stop, Francisco, okay. your turn. Continue, thank you very much, Claudia, perfect. Okay, teacher, um, the, the first step, uh, I think the managers uh, offer uh, apologies to the clients in, checks the, the, the system uh, has a problem. Okay. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Check if the system is giving problems. Yeah, that could be a problem that you need tech support and perhaps that's like slowing down the, the process. Martha. Okay, if, if the problem, if I allow the time for resolve, uh, we offer to a discount for or give for next visit for, for client. Okay. If the problem takes a long time to be solved, okay. takes. Takes. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. It takes time. Okay. Very well, very well. And let's see, I'm sorry, Walter, but I am short of time. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. It's very important that we remember we are working with the steps, how to perform something, how to do an activity. It's always important that you remember, you have to structure your ideas. And this is something necessary that we are watching and that we are studying today in the course, because procedures in our everyday activities, in all our companies. It doesn't matter the 
your position in your company. You always follow procedures in almost all activity. Actually, every day we got routines, okay? And procedures in the company are like, sometimes some of those procedures are very specific because they want you to, for those procedures to become a habit, okay? And that's why we are working with that. Remember, this course is called English for Work. So we are relating everything to the work. Tomorrow, we are going to be working with grammar. I'm going to be explaining a grammar point, okay? Tomorrow, we are going to work with some adverbs and with some connectors in order to talk about the same topic, procedures. We are going to, you are going to create a conversation working in small groups of three, two or three members. And it's going to be quite interesting. So please guys, remember, don't get like, ah, again, procedures. Remember that these two weeks are very nice because we have the opportunity to speak a lot. And that's what I'm going to be Focus more in these next classes. You speaking, you participating, you working in groups, all of you, okay? So something that I will ask from you is this. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Don't worry if you are speaking slow. It will come to you. What I need you is you speaking. You get used to be speaking and something else. You paying attention to your classmates speaking. Even if your classmate makes some mistakes, that's helping you. Aun si el compañero se equivoca, también eso nos ayuda. For us not to make the same mistake, okay? And there's going to be something a little bit different in perhaps the next two or three classes. Y les aviso antemano, va a haber una pequeña variación en las próximas dos o tres clases. Voy a comenzar a... Eh, quizás van a sentir que les interrumpo mucho pero he comenzado a detectar que algunos de nosotros tenemos el mismo error en repetidas ocasiones. Entonces, voy a comenzar a interrumpirles. Eh, si están hablando, cometieron un error, les voy a interrumpir en el momento o en la oración para que hagamos la corrección. Y eso lo voy a estar haciendo con todos. Se los aviso de antemano para que no se me vayan a sentir mal, ¿ok? Porque lo voy a hacer con todos. La idea es que en este punto esos errores que he logrado identificar tenemos que dejarlos ya fuera, no cometerlo de nuevo. Because, I mean, this is intermediate. And intermediate one is the easy one. Este es el fácil. Next one are not that hard, but they are more demanding. Okay? So I would like to send you to the next level, like more on track. Okay? Quiero que vayan más, más. Ah. I don't know how to say this in Spanish. In Spanish sounds real. En español puede sonar un poquito rudo. Alineados. Enfocados. That would be. More on track, I mean. More focus. More focus, okay? Hey, guys. Thank you very much. I know it's been hard. I know uh, sometimes the activities becomes a little bit tedious, but uh, believe me, it's important what we are doing, and you are doing pretty well. Let me get the attendance remember please if you have any comment something special something that you don't like whatever you can text me no problem you can send it to me privately and no problem okay i take all comments into an account siempre tomo en cuenta todos los comentarios okay don't worry don't worry feel free to comment any problem any difficulty or something that you perhaps thinks is think is not working for you please feel free Okay, I never get mad for those. Let's see, Ambar Eli Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. 
Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Thank you, Walter. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh, that's orange. Okay, guys, let's see. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Be on time, please. Tomorrow we are going to have grammar explanation. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you, Chen. Bye. And Roxana, bye. Good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night, have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night everybody. Thank you, Chen. See you. <laughs> Maria Luisa, hello, how are you? Hi, I am fine. I am tired, teacher. Yeah, you look tired. Tell me, Maria Luisa, uh, how do you feel the class? Is everything okay? Do you have any problem? Is there <laughs> any... Any doubt, any difficulty you can notice? Uh, it's, it's okay, but but for me it's difficult because I, uh, I the word no remember, um, no, um, I forget the word. Sé que se me olvidan las palabras, teacher. En el momento okay. que voy a conversar, siento que se me... But you forget the vocabulary. Ay, hay momentos que sí, a la, a la hora ya de hablar, se me... Se me olvidan bastantes palabras. Pero... It's, it's, it's good. Uh, little by little. <laughs> Yes, yeah, step by step, step by step. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see vocabulary, vocabulary. Mm, yeah. Let me see. How can we help you with vocabulary? Okay, we're gonna do something. Let's see. Is, uh, okay, mostrar algo that perhaps can help you. Okay. Here we go. Okay, you got this screen, right? Usted tiene esta pantalla. Sí, sí. yeah. Okay, that's the course. Usted conoce ya el course. Okay. Yeah. Si usted se viene aquí abajo donde dice centro de ayuda. Mm -hmm. you, okay. Click on it. Click yeah. on it. Then you got all the way down, uh -huh. recursos académicos. You got uh, uh -huh. grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, mm -hmm. and the video conference. So if you get into the vocabulary section, okay, you got here, look, everyday activities, personal care mm -hmm. products, household cleaning and laundry, outside the home, the apartment building. So what about if you try to get vocabulary, study vocabulary related to specific topics? ¿Qué tal si okay. nosotros vamos a aprender el vocabulario, pero no en general, sino en base a temas específicos? Y mire cuántos hay. Sí, sí. I, I, I don't solve. Uh, 
no lo había así como escudriñado mucho. Ok, but now you know. Pero ahora ya lo tiene. Ya, ya. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Le prometo. I promise. Yeah, I promise. De, 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 Es una sugerencia que le hago, porque a veces cuando tenemos vocabulario en general se nos vuelve complicado, pero si nos enfocamos, algunos de nosotros nos funciona así, que nos enfocamos solamente en este vocabulario, lo practicamos primero, luego pasamos a vocabulario relacionado con otro tema, lo practicamos, quizás se nos quede más fácil. Sí, sí. I mean, hay personas que tienen la capacidad y la habilidad de que lo agarran de donde sea y como sea. Habemos otros que funcionamos en una manera que está un poquito más estructurada. Uh -huh. o sea, depende de, de cómo nuestra mente trabaja. Recuérdese que esto es distinto para cada uno. Pruebe de esa manera. Perhaps that way can help you. Quizás de esa manera le funcione. Ok. Sí. Eh, eh, voy, a, voy a comenzar. Teacher, una, una pregunta. Yes. Después que, que se va haciendo la tarea, hay, una, hay videos para ir en, en la plataforma. Pero cuando le pongo, solo me sale el mismo video de, de, la, de la parte 1, de la sección 1. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lo que pasa es que será? Esos, espacios, esos espacios son simplemente para, eh, ¿cómo se le Está el espacio libre para cuando tengamos la clase, ahí colgar la clase. Esta clase la grabo en video. Si usted, mira los, si usted mira los videos de las clases anteriores, ahí están, ¿verdad? Entonces simplemente está como el espacio para eso. Y tiene que tener algo el espacio. Es parte de, la, de los requerimientos de la plataforma y por eso han colgado un video genérico para todos. El mismo. Ah, es que yo Pero, recuerdo que el anterior era como... Eh, estaba como la clase, la explicación, pero no el video de la clase en sí, sino que otro. Uh -huh. Sí, pero uh -huh. usted me está hablando de un curso distinto. <risa> bueno, es que como he, he sacado otros también, quizás me he confundido, pero sí. tengo la idea que en esta plataforma también había como la explicación sí, es que... y luego estaba la tarea. Es que escucha, usted me está hablando de la misma plataforma, sí, uh -huh. pero el tipo de curso que estaba tomando era distinto. Uh -huh. en, en este curso, realmente el material base y el material que tenemos para apoyo eh, destinado y programado por Insafor es el manual. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Es por eso que las presentaciones que yo les traigo a ustedes, tiene que estar basada directamente en el manual, y es el manual nuestra principal herramienta. En esos otros cursos, no hay un manual. Mm, okay. Por eso es de que estaba ahí directamente la clase, pero ese tipo de cursos son más suaves, más, li más ligeros mm -hmm. de contenido. Sí, sí. This is more intensive. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, sí, porque para hacer la tarea yo me venía, de este, yo me vengo a leer el manual primero. Yep. Y después, cuando entiendo así un poco, eh, me voy a hacer la tarea. Yeah, because it, it's the manual actually your guide. Es el manual su guía. Aquí los videos que aparecen ahí colgados simplemente son, los de las clases anteriores son la clase. La grabación ah. de las dos horas de clase. Eso es lo que va a aparecer que les puede servir a algunos para repasar. Sí, sí, claro. Ok. Ok, espero haberles sido útil. Sí, muchísimas gracias por la, por la explicación. La verdad que um, quizás no lo había como escudriñado mucho. Pero mira, ya la... encontramos ahí más recursos. Esperamos sí. que les sea útil. 
Sí, y es que mi problema es, vaya, por ejemplo, si en español yo sé en el momento de qué tema se está hablando, yo después sí puedo agarrar, pero si de una vez está como lo de inglés y no entendí de qué se estaba hablando al principio, ahí como que me pierdo un... No te preocupes, eso pasa a todos nosotros. Eso nos pasa a todos, no se preocupe. I mean, and it's normal. Yeah. Uh -huh. Depende del context del... Yeah. Y cuando le pase eso, pregúnteme. Y si no quiere interrumpir lo que estamos hablando, mándeme un texto. Mire, me, me perdí con el vocabulario. ¿Cuál es el tema? Y yo con gusto, así en privado, se lo contesto. Ah, ok. Yeah. La idea Thank es que you. no se me pierda y que no se me quede perdida. Usted hágalo. Si no quiere hacerlo en medio de la clase, pues mándelo en privado y yo le guío para que nuevamente sí. se nos encarrile, ¿verdad? Sí, porque hay, hay temas que sí, yo, yo siento que los entiendo bastante, pero hay algunos que sí me, me quedo así como que un poco perdida. Pero sí, yo creo que ya con, con esa me va, me, me va a ayudar mucho. Ajá. So glad to be of help. Me alegra haber sido de okay. ayuda. Thank, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you, María. Have a good night. Take okay, care. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. okay, that's nice. That's nice. We are almost done. Let's check it out that everything is in order. We got that word recording going. And it was a very interesting class today. A lot of new vocabulary. Let's hope tomorrow we have the opportunity to keep on working and to keep on showing to our students more vocabulary, more information. So bye-bye, everybody. Have a good night.